Hello, pilots. Let's talk about team play. What are the advantages of aircraft flights? How do you find and create them? How do you talk to other players? And which aircraft make the most effective setups? One question at a time. Nearly all World of Warplanes players notice aircraft with icons and numbers in the team lists on the battle loading screen. These icons mean the players belong to an aircraft flight, while numbers signify different flights within a team if there are several of them. An aircraft flight is a fighting unit. It consists of a flight leader and his wingmen. Different countries had various concepts for aircraft flight formations. For example, in Germany, aircraft flew in pairs and fours because this formation allowed them to make the most of their speed. In other countries, including Russia, aircraft formed up into the shape of a V with the flight leader in front and wingmen behind and on either side. The number of aircraft in a flight matters little. What matters are the skills and abilities of its players. In a flight, they don't just add up, they multiply the effectiveness of the team. To succeed, the members of a flight must evaluate the main threats of the enemy team quickly and work together to eliminate them. A flight that is able to effectively work together can achieve much better results, that is, until it meets another strong flight. The players in a flight are able to better focus on a target, coordinate attacks from multiple angles, and destroy enemy aircraft faster while providing cover for teammates. This allows a flight to be very effective in random battles, which leads to more experience, credits, and better statistics. There are several ways to find players for a flight in World of Warplanes via the forum, in-game channels, and directly in battle. The most convenient is the game channel called Search for Flight or Clan. To create a flight, click the Assemble Flight button. Then invite one of your friends or search for a pilot you want in your flight. When playing in a flight, it is very important to quickly communicate with other players while keeping your hands on the controls at the same time. You can communicate with your wingmen using voice chat. It can be enabled in the settings menu. Effective communication in a flight is clear, concise, and specific, so use voice chat. It allows for optimal teamwork between players in the flight. Don't forget to designate the targets you're attacking. They can be marked with the T key or F3 by default. This will prove to be very handy. Aircraft used in flights can be all the same tier or can be of multiple tiers. Aircraft in the same tier are easier to play when you're in a flight, especially if they're high-energy fighters. A flight with multiple tiers comes in handy when a player seeks to master a combination of certain aircraft. Here, the balancer takes into account the highest tier aircraft in a flight when placing it in battle. Aircraft in different tiers have different ratios of maneuverability, speed, and firepower. High tier aircraft tend to be faster and less maneuverable, so to make them suitable for playing, the maps these aircraft battle on are also enlarged. In addition, anti-aircraft guns are also more powerful. In short, each tier has a group of corresponding maps. If your flight is not at the top of the list, don't despair. You can still be very useful to the team if you stay alive, guarding the base and protecting it from the enemy attack aircraft. In World of Warplanes, aircraft are divided into groups based on their specifications and, as a result, their role in battle. High-tier battles feature both jet and piston-powered fighters, heavy fighters, and attack aircraft, which brings about a concept called optimum altitude, the best altitude for air combat. Jet-powered, piston-powered, and attack aircraft have their own optimal altitude, so a flight can be divided into those fighting on the same altitude and those fighting at different altitudes. Flights with aircraft having the same optimum altitude may look like this. Three heavy fighters, a fighter and two heavy fighters, or two fighters and one heavy fighter, where fighters perform best at high altitude. Three fighters, where high-altitude ones, based on their specifications, stay lower than heavy fighters. Flights with different optimum altitudes may look like this. An attack aircraft and two fighters. Two attack aircraft and one fighter. Two attack aircraft and one heavy fighter. An attack aircraft and two heavy fighters. An attack aircraft, a fighter, and a heavy fighter. A fighter and a heavy fighter. 
A flight with only one optimum altitude has the best chance at coordination, mutual support, and cohesion during battle. Such a flight can display some great dogfighting and boom and zoom skills. A flight with multiple optimum altitudes is more interesting in terms of strategy, especially at higher tiers, where teamwork and support are even more important. In high tiers, players should also move along one flank, with players at higher altitude covering those below. If a flight meets a single enemy aircraft, two fighters should engage it, with the attack aircraft continuing on undetected. If a flight meets two enemy planes, the fighters should designate a specific target and provide each other cover. If an enemy group outnumbers the flight, it would be best to avoid engagement. In the next issue of Flight School, we will discuss the use of proper tactics while in flight. That's it for now. Good luck in battle!